So welcome back. This is going to be really interesting. I don't think I've ever had anything like this on my show before. I have with me Brian Janini. Janini? Janini. Janini. And he is also has with him, he has Holly Long. Brian is the uh, on the board of directors of the Cactus IFT, which is Institute of Food Technologists. And Holly, what is your position there? I'm a former president and chair of the board, and I'm now acting as a consultant, primarily overseeing Suppliers Night, which is our great event that we're so excited about, and the reason we're here to talk to you today. Awesome. That is exciting. So look, first of all, tell, tell everybody a little bit about yourselves and what this is. Well, the, the cactus section of IFT is for Arizona food professionals. And the Institute of Food Technologists is really uh, an international organ organization with over 17,000 members in 90 countries. So the cactus section is specific to uh, Arizona. And the Institute of Food Technologists uh, members are food safety professionals, uh, food scientists, people in quality assurance, people who do product development for food manufacturers, so it's more on the food manufacturing um, side of the business, not necessarily the food service or restaurant, but from a food safety standpoint, uh, those people get involved as well. Wow. We're also involved, you'll see a lot of scientists doing research and furthering, you know, what we know. One of the things about food, the IFT, the National IFT, is the motto is how are we going to feed the growing population of the world and do that safely. And you'll have professors and students. One of the things we have at our cactus section IFT suppliers night is we're going to have students come and show some of the research they've been doing. And learning, you can learn from this. Is that what it is? It's for, now the people that go to this, they have to be in this industry. Is that correct? Yeah, we're looking for people that are food scientists and food technologists. So the people that, you know, it's not you know, it's not hamburger joints. This is people that are manufacturing the dairy products that have to be safe, developing new flavors of dairy products or new candy bars. And when you have a candy bar or like Diet Coke, you can buy that anywhere in the world unless it's specifically different for a country. But anywhere it's made, if it's shipped to the United States, it's going to taste the same no matter what batch. How often does that happen in your kitchen? Never. <laughs> Never. I can't make cookies twice the same time, the same way. There's a lot of science and trial and error. And then if you make one batch of cookies in your kitchen, and like Mrs. Fields, you upgrade to being an international business, there's some science, there's some techniques involved to make that huge batch taste the same as the little batch in the kitchen. And there's some, some tricks involved. Plus, the ones in your kitchen get eaten within a few weeks. The ones that ship all over the world, not always. So you got to keep it so that it's still going to be healthy and preserved well, sure, but still safe and and label and friendly enough that people feel safe eating it. Now this event is coming up. It is April fifth at the um, El Z Zariba. Zariba. It's at the Shriners uh, Auditorium. Let's talk a bit, little bit about it. It's a free event for people to go to. That's right. Suppliers Night is where we get vendors from the industry can come and talk to those professionals. Everybody's working hard, and it's hard to take time to call and get more information. We're not always the best at keeping up on the latest trends. So the vendors are all coming. They're coming, and they have um, tables there, and you can talk to them, chat with them. You'll get new ideas of what the new trends are. Or if you have a problem, we had a um, Fairy Tale Brownies is one of our members. And she came, and she was so excited, she came away with some new testing opportunities and some, some new development opportunities just by meeting with the resources that were there. Go ahead. Yeah, and um, we're going to have over 80 vendors from all around the country that are food ingredient suppliers, flavor companies, uh, services that provide quality assurance or food safety services to the food industry. So there's quite a variety at uh, the uh, show and for a lot of smaller companies in Arizona who can't necessarily afford to go to the national annual meeting uh, of IFT, which is in Chicago in July, this will give them a good flavor of what that event uh, would be like. Now, this information is also on your website? Yes. Okay. Yes, good. it is. Now, this is happening. It's a free event. It's for food 
industry uh, people only, right? Right. Food science, food industry professionals and those people that are supplying services to the food industry. Okay. So we also have staffing, people that provide staffing services, you know. The testing has to keep happening. Go ahead. If you need science, you know, if you need a chemist for temporarily, they provide those kinds of services as well as... Um, Food safety services. So it's April fifth. It's free. It's two. It's two thirty to seven thirty. So it's information. A lot of information. You said eighty vendors that are going to be there, and uh, it's at the El Zariba Shriners Auditorium. Their website for you to check it out. It is cactus i f t dot org, and all of the information is there about that. Um, okay, so I want to get it clear in my head because. I need to explain to me, Lucy, okay? So what I mean by that is let's say there's a lot of people out there now that are started their own businesses in the food industry. They're shipping whatever it is they might make. It could be candy or what have you. It is, is that that person that can come to? I want to just clarify it, who you're looking for. Those would be wonderful people to come because, you know, when you start out, you have this wonderful recipe, you want to share it. But you ne don't necessarily know how to get the best ingredients or how to get the best discounts. And, like, you can go to, I'm, I'm sorry, and how to keep your product safe. Or maybe you have an idea for a new flavor, but the flavor isn't quite working with your ingredients. The flavor companies will have great ideas for you. There's a lot of those people out there. I happen to know I've had a lot of them on my show before. So I certainly know that they're out there. So you should check it out because this is great information for you. And it'll keep you probably going stronger and longer, right? Yeah, we want to help people upgrade. But also there are people out there that are working for big companies, say Shamrock Dairy or the big the industries, also the nutraceutical industries, the protein powder people the herbal people the nutraceutical complement it's also for them as well and in fact we're having a wonderful education section session yeah the uh, educational session is going to start at 2 30 and we have michelle wright who's a food labeling consultant uh, she's been in the industry for 30 years she used to work at conagra what's a food labeling consultant so when you look at the, a packaged food and you'll notice the ingredients on the package and the nutritional information on the package well there's regulatory compliance behind that as far as the format how it needs to be uh, labeled and she's going to talk about the latest laws that are going to affect the industry uh, it's expected to cost the industry billions of dollars with these new regulations that are part of FISMA, which is the Food Safety Modernization Act. So, Michelle, uh, hopefully when she comes, April 5th, is going to have the latest information. So if you get there early by 2.30, you can also register for that educational event on the website when you go to cactusift.org as well. So it, do they have to register in advance to go to it? We'd, we'd like them to just because uh, that particular room that we're in is going to max out at 60 people for the educational event. But we, we may be able to be flexible if we get uh, a bigger turnout. We're uh, getting to that capacity almost now. So it's cactusift.org, and you can check out all the information there. And if it's not you that's listening to this, you might know somebody who is in this industry. And, again, it doesn't mean it could be that they work for somebody. You might be somebody that owns a place plant out there that's listening right now and if you're somebody that is even creating something on your own shipping it out all over the world that's for you too and there's scientists out there too we're looking they're looking for you too so the scientists are the people like what that are creating new colors and things like that yeah there's the food science industry has food engineers food packaging engineers people that specialize in how to do the scale up from your kitchen or garage to a big manufacturing facility. There will also be um, vendors there that provide contract manufacturing services. Sensory analysis is another piece of the food industry that's very interesting. Like, say you can't get the same chocolate syrup you've always gotten. You're an expert in that. You might be able to taste the difference, but will your customers be able to tell the difference? The sensory analyst can help you answer that question and maybe get a less costly ingredient that you find out your customers don't care about even if maybe you do. And then there's also thermal processing and just laboratory people, professors, that are overseeing new and upcoming research. 
Is there anything else that you want to talk about before we go to a break? Because we're going to go to a break, and when we come back, I know there's some things that you've sponsored, different people and things like that. We want to get all of that out. But before we go to a break, talk about what you're looking for for this free event again real quickly. Well, um, you know, we talked about people starting their own business in their kitchen. Well, when you start to get a little bit bigger than that, this is a great uh, venue to come to learn about the regulatory requirements. Once you start getting outside of your kitchen, you're starting to sell to retailers. Then you're in a whole other ball game, and you'll be able to get some great information about that. You can go on the website. It is cactusift.org. It's a free event, and you can see all the information. It's April 5th from 2.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the El Zariba Shriners Auditorium. Check them out. It's at cactusift.org. We're going to be back in just a minute. Hang on tight. We're back, and we're talking with Brian Janini, I got it right this time, and Holly Long, and they are with the Cactus IFT Institute. That's Institute of Food Technologists. We've been talking a little bit about this event that you have coming up that's going to be awesome for people that are in the food industry in uh, that are the kind of people that they're looking for. You've been talking at the break a little bit about um, the scientists out there and how they tend, and I can see why they would be sort of like, the, say, inside, not out. And you said you want to get them out. So let's talk about a little bit of that. Well, what you find is a lot of really great scientists out there. They love the science and they love being in the lab and they don't always want to take time away from that to come to a supplier's night show. And I wanted to share with you some quotes from some of the scientists on our board that what they said about the event. And these are people developing new products. And um, this gal is developing new products, and she said, I really enjoy walking around the expo floor and seeing what new products and services are available. And I've made new connections, and also just from chatting with vendors, I always learn something new about the food and or nutraceutical industries. The vendors are a great resource for emerging trends. And then another gentleman we have, he also does a lot of writing or even he does articles for Food Technology Magazine, which is a national magazine that goes out to food professionals. And um, he said, this is, this is for the real professionals behind food science and technology. He said, so many people in today's world where there's free information that goes out on the Internet, it can go so fast. And I, I have observed, I've been in the industry for over 20 years, that people get... People are passionate about their food. If you want to have a passionate discussion, you can do religion or politics. You can also do what should you eat or what shouldn't you eat, and it's about as passionate. But the real story gets lost in all that excitement and that emotion, and food technologists can study the real science. And he says, you know, the Supplier's Night is a chance for these real professionals to get together right here in Phoenix and a chance to talk science, talk ingredients, learn, and create new foods for the future. Well, it, it's so interesting, and I, I, I don't know how I find them for you guys, but it's awesome to know that the, of all of these different things, and we also want to make sure of all the different people, because it's a, you know they're coming in from the break, of the kind of people that you're looking for for this event. It's a free event. It's happening on April 5th. It's from 2.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the El Zariba Shriners Auditorium. Go ahead. Well, yeah, uh, the people that are involved with the Institute of Food Technologists, and we really want people in Arizona who are quality assurance people, people who are involved with new product development. Uh, maybe they're working behind the bench on developing new products. Um, and, exa and also, we also have other events throughout the year for the Cactus IFT that you would be interested in. We just went down to the University of Arizona to their food safety lab, and the students, the grad students, are working on a variety of projects. Uh, one example is they're developing a new type of film for packaged salads to uh, combat the bacteria so that uh, you won't have listeria in your bag salad. So very interesting stuff that they're working on. And most of the things um, are natural ingredients that can be put into packaging or our food products to um, combat those bacteria. We also learned that if you use onion powder and put it in ground beef before you cook it, it reduces the uh, risk of E. coli. 
So uh, a lot of interesting things happening that we learn about at these different meetings. And on here. You know, that's pretty interesting. Now everybody's going to go out and buy some onion powder yeah. and put it in their, uh, in their ground beef. Yes, yeah. and, and I, I heard that garlic works uh, as well, too. So. Wow, that's really interesting. They actually tried a wide variety of plant substances in that study. So it is very interesting to talk to them. And some of those students are coming up for our event, and they will bring posters that show graphs of the research they've done, and they will be there to talk to you about it. It will be really interesting. So... Again, you've said that you have like 80 different vendors. Are gonna, can you say some of the other things that you're going to have there at the event? Sure. Um, uh, Holly mentioned posters that these uh, grad students are going to be presenting that will be available for people to uh, look at, take photos of on some of the research that they're doing. We're having the educational event on the new labeling laws uh, at 2.30 from Michelle Wright. And the other really important thing that we're going to have is we're going to feed people who come. So, so they don't have to worry event. about it. Yeah. <laughs> so if they're worried about, you know, I'm going to miss my dinner, don't worry about it. There's going to be food. And you'll know it's going to be safe food to eat. <laughs> right? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> but remember, this isn't just a free-for-all for the community. We are right. looking for food professionals. Now, that expo floor opens at 3.30. The education session's at 2.30, but the expo floor with the vendors starts at 3.30. And we are also going to highlight some local food manufact uh, food company smaller food companies we're calling it Arizona local produced and people that have maybe have one product that they're just starting out are going to have some of those products available as well so again let's talk a little bit about it scientists yes you know food scientists uh, there's people out there that obviously work for these big companies you mentioned Shamrock uh, Farms and uh, the any food industry type of thing. As well as nutraceutical industry. And nutraceutical industries, which it could be anything from, you know, the, the powders that they make, the, vi the vitamins, all the supplements and all of that. But also you people out there, there's a lot of people out there that start their own businesses and they are in the food industry. They're considered in the food industry. And how to keep your food from uh, getting uh, rotten by the time it got to wherever it was going that you're shipping it. So, so go ahead. Why am I talking? Go ahead. You're doing great. That was a great summary. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so this is a place where we do talk about, you know, where we can connect. And sometimes the scientists or the people that love to do the research and development in their own kitchens and making new products aren't always the best people people. And I come from that sort of inclination. And what happens is if you get together with other scientists, you have so much in common with them and you love to share and learn together, and it's a wonderful opportunity to do that, that ugly word sometimes of networking, but it's really just about building friendships, isn't it? I don't it? think it's an ugly word at all. <laughs> isn't that the name of the show? <laughs> <laughs> but really, what's wonderful about it is it's like-minded people, and you're going to learn from this. It's an educational uh, event. It is, and we have so much fun to get when we get together because we are like-minded. And it's like, oh, someone that looks at the world similarly to how I do. Awesome! Exactly. Now, uh, this is a free event. They're going to also have food for you there as well. It is April 5th from 2.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the seven. L. I'm sorry? 2.30 to 7. Okay, I had 7.30. So it's 2.30 to 7.00. PM on L at El Zariba Shriners Auditorium. All the information is on their website. You do need they would like you to register. So go ahead and if you are listening to this and it's not you and you know somebody in it, tell them about it that you heard it on this show. It's cactus I F T dot org. What are some of your words for today now? Some of the things else that you want to get out? Well, I think uh, from a regulatory standpoint, if you're looking to sell your product to uh, retailers or distributors, you need to really be up to speed on the regulatory requirements to do that. And your new customers, whoever they might be, uh, are going to look, uh, look at you and make sure that you have those processes and regulatory requirements in place before they buy for you. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's exactly what our class is about, the label and making it regulatory compliant. Check it out at cactusift.org. And any other events that you, that you also put on? Yeah, we just uh, did an event at uh, the Scottsdale Community College with the Culinary School. And they served us a five-course meal. And we had a presenter talk about the Research Chefs Association, which is 
uh, combination of the culinary arts and food science, and they call that culinology. So that was a very interesting uh, uh, event that we had, and that was only a few few weeks ago. You don't always think of the chefs as being scientists, and this is a group of people that are putting those two together to expand our food opportunities for fun. Something different here on Networking Arizona, and it is all about get, getting with people who are like-minded. Uh, they're looking for specific type of people. Again, tell them who it is real quickly. Food scientists, food technologists, food manufacturers, people that are producing food and providing services to those groups. It's a free event. They're going to have food there. It's April 5th from 2.30 to 7 p.m. Check it out on the website and register there at cactusift.org.